Brent Johnson, and today I'm at the Church of St. Francis of Assisi in Columbus, Ohio. We are still here visiting organs that will be part of the Organ Historical Society's convention here happening this summer. Uh, and today I've uh, come to this church to visit the uh, Karl Barkhoff organ. And joining me at the console is Laurel Marazita, who's going to uh, demonstrate a few stops of the organ. Um, this organ has been altered a little bit since its original uh, inception, correct? We had some work done to it. Right, in 2000. So, okay, so the stop list is not quite uh, what originally was here, but uh, the People's Herzog Company actually left the original pipes here in the church, should anyone ever want to put it back to its original uh, incarnation. So that's nice to know they've done that. Um, but I want to hear what we have here today. Um, so tell me, uh, let's just start with the grate. I know we have an open diapason eight foot there. Uh, let me just hear how that sounds. sound here in the room and then uh, what we have another eight foot there next to it tell me what we have Dulciana. Dulciana. very good and then um, next to the dulci next to the open diapason on the other side octave four four foot octave Can I hear that with the eight foot open diapason? Let's two together. Yeah, that's definitely a big bright chorus. Um, it's, it's got that big uh, 20th century sound, but it's still, uh, still bright and cutting through. Okay, uh, and do we have a two foot then on top of that? You want that by itself? No, we'll just hear it with the, the chorus. And then on top of the chorus, we have one more stop, uh, one and one third. Mm -hmm. That seems like enough to accompany a full church if you had <laughs> vibrant singers in here. That's a, that's a pretty bright sound uh, out of just those four stops. Okay, and then we have one more stop in there. There's an eight foot melodia flute. Let's just hear that by itself. and the Dulciana definitely take the spot of the, uh, the demure stops in that division <laughs> compared to that principal chorus. Very well. All right, well, let's go over to the swell division, and uh, I can't see that from here, so tell me what stops we have in the swell. We have, do you want to hear the stop diapason? Yeah, let, let's start with the stop diapason. Okay, where do we go from there? You have a four foot. Uh, flute, harmonic flute. Okay. It's really lovely. Can I hear the, the four foot flute by itself? Maybe just a little mm -hmm. scale pattern or something to hear what it sounds like. Yeah, that's lovely. It's got a very clear singing sound. Okay, and then is there another eight foot then? On that nope. Oh, that's uh, the we one. have a we have our reed. Okay. And what is the name of that reed? Fagotto. Oh, what is it? I'm sorry. It's a fagotto. Oh, fagotto. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, what other stops do we have in there? We have a two and two thirds okay. and a two foot. Oh, yeah. All right, well, let's hear the, um, the eight, four, two and two thirds and two all together. These are. Yeah, very bright flute chorus there. Well, it, it's a, a simple little organ, but it all fits together very well and makes some uh, wonderful sounds. Um, I noticed the pedal board is uh, only an octave and, a, and two notes. Um, is that ever tricky for you to, to navigate compared to other consoles? <laughs> or yes, you... and it's a flat pedal board, so. Mm, so you have that, that challenge that as well. That was a little challenging. 
And there are some uh, some combination uh, toe spoons down there. How many do we have, and what do right. they do? Right, we have foot iron. That works the great. It just brings on all the great stops. And then you can take off, and it just leaves the eight foots. Okay. Well, this is a lovely little instrument, and I'm glad it's still here playing. And uh, I hope uh, everyone enjoys hearing it when they're here at the OHS convention. <laughs> So getting into the case of the Barkov is very easy. There's a door that's been cut right here in the front, and the first thing we see are some of the pedal pipes. And looking over those, there's the great chest. We see the stop action for the grape there. And the swell box is right behind it. tubing for chest pipes. And back around the base chest we can access the swell. First a look underneath at the action. See the tremolo there at the back. door opens up and we can see into the swell. If I had a ladder, I could have gotten up in there, but I didn't have one with me. You can see those reed pipes look uh, like they're probably new pipes. So pulling off the back panel, you can see how you can access the reeds, and indeed those are fairly new pipes compared to the rest of the pipe work in here. Back up at the grate now, we see the facade pipes and the chests for the uh, facade. Some of them have uh, no longer play. They used to be tubed off of the main chest. And you see the winding from one chest to the next tube there.
I hope you enjoyed this tour of this Barkoff organ here at St. Francis of Assisi in Columbus, Ohio. Again, if you're interested in coming to the OHS convention this summer, uh, there's a link down in the description where you can find out more information about it. Uh, there's also a link uh, to our website where you can become a sponsor of the Organ Media Foundation and help us make more videos. You can become a sponsor like David McGowan, who was a video sponsor this year and helped make this video possible. So thank you to David. Also, thank you to Laura Marazita for demonstrating the instrument and to Paula Vassi for helping coordinate all of our visit here today. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe uh, and click the bell for notifications because we have more OHS videos coming out. We're not quite done yet. And remember, until the next video is out, you can always find streaming classical organ music on our three stations, OrganLive.com, Positively Baroque, and The Organ Experience. Until next time, I'm Brent Johnson. Thank you for watching.